Paul again for coming this morning. I would especially like to thank our sponsors today. This is the health system. Welcome. And our red card sponsor. They have been one of our best supporters every year. So thank you guys. You're wonderful. We also got two blue star sponsors. NRG Energy, which we don't have anybody representing them. They donated their tickets, but it was a wonderful support from NRG Energy, as well as the McCullers, Jim and Linda, and Betty Coffee. Jim is one of our board members, and they're both longtime friends. So, what can I say? Um, next, we'll call two great star sponsors, and it was delightful to see Sydney here today. Um, one of our sponsors is Studio North, a customer again, the bank connections. Such an extremely creative company. They're located in North Chicago, and they are just some awesome people. Thank you for coming. And we also got a sponsorship, and I thought the Brosnans, at least one or two of them would come, but Auto Park City, um, also a long time Waukegan and community you know, business. Um, they also gave us a Green Star sponsorship, so support some of them. And I also need to thank the Waukegan Public Library. Ar Arlene Martin. Arlene. Lakes Credit Union. Each of those um, purchased a half of a table for today's breakfast. So thank you to those. A big, big thank you. And they aren't here today either, but a couple named Taria and Mark Smith donated all of those wonderful black portfolio bags that you get to take as your gift this morning from just donating them. So how you use them, what we thought was just amazing and we were appreciative that we had the quantity to be able to do that. So thank Mark and Taria. Also, our raffles. Ah, this is just exciting because so many generous people donated things to us. As the few last few weeks, it's just been offers and wonderful things. My daughters, my nieces, family have helped us pull together all these items, but I'm really impressed, and please, we hope everybody is a winner. <laughs> and we'll at least water more. Um, also, Key Lime Cove. Let's make sure to thank Key Lime Cove. They do themselves with breakfast and the service. It has just been extremely attentive. They actually added that extra room for us because they could and that was available. So, thank you. And all of you I want to thank because it, you, you represent this community and to me that is how and why we are going to make it because of what the community that helps do this. My special, special board of directors and advisory board members that are here plus the people that were involved in the team that put this event together. Could everybody, one of you, stand for a minute? Thank you so much. All of you make an amazing difference. And lastly, I have to thank my amazing family. They have been with me and are all here today. So here goes my grandson. But from the very beginning, when all these stars aligned and this idea kind of struck. So, thank you, family, for all the help you love. They're always in the bottom of your heart. Good hand for the family. What a family. Thanks for So, you asked, what does Words on Wheels do? Is, is it a reading program? activities and literacy, but it's a lot more than that, and so we decided we're going to show you 
good. <laughs> the moms and their babies and grandmas and their babies all come up to the front because we're going to show you with activity. So the amount of fun it is, it also has a purpose. So, thank you, Bubbles, for being as fun as you are and making sense for us to bring it with us. All right, guys, let's turn off the Bubbles. <laughs> Hard to take away. All right, next. Let's pull up Nikki, Amanda, Beatrice, and Jorge. Okay, no more bubbles. <laughs> we need you to do the puppets. We gotta keep this show moving. <laughs> and we know the bubbles would be distracted as well. Oh yeah. We also include in our activity bag puppets. Yeah, puppets. You can engage a toddler. We have little finger puppets as well. But playing around to show, showing them the animals, the most fun activities that include a lot of brain So, puppets. What could we be better? Puppets and bubbles. I think we got a winner already. All right. Arlene is going to show you and her daughter and granddaughters, and Luna can get down if she wants. <laughs> but how we engage a child with a book activity. Two, that there's more to it than just sit down and open up and read. There's a hand of showing even toddlers and infants the front of the book, the back of the book. This is how it works, okay? There's somebody that drew the picture, that wrote the story. Let's point to this and help them track. There's a lot of engagement with that little baby brain that you can give them when you engage them. It's more than just sitting, reading. So I'm actually, you know, let's engage them. Sure. And I, if I could just say, we, we recently did a little site visit at our a volunteer night at the Stable House, and we had some wonderful children there, and brought our activity bags, and blue bubbles, and red stories, and sing books, and it was just an incredible, engaging, fun time. Not just for the kids, but for us as the volunteers. So that is that is truly a delight to be part of Words on Wheels and being that volunteer is getting to be babies. And a little baby like her, like my little Selena, who's my granddaughter, she's not necessarily really going to understand the words and just yet the pictures, but the, the excitement and the energy and the enthusiasm that you bring as that volunteer can really make a difference. As you can see, Luna has a little book too. And with toddlers, toddlers are learning as they grow and as they grow. So what they're learning is they're seeing, as you read a story and you follow the words with your fingers, you're teaching them how to read. Believe it or not, and they are picking up every little iota of sharing that you give to them. So again, you know, when you get when you get that opportunity to volunteer, 
do be sure to take it, take advantage of that's what you love to do, and just have a lot of fun. Okay, our fourth little activity that we hope our volunteers provide every time they go on a visit involves music, of course. Okay, so we have musical instruments. Could the moms and babies grab their instruments? I mean, horns, maracas, tambourines, harmonicas. They're a big hit too. And you know what? Children don't care. If you sing in tune, they just respond to the music and the song. It really stimulates a lot of brain connections. Everyone knows the words. Is everybody ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Life has been done by volunteers. Um,